Hello, 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 welcome back to Unifast Mode. We are back on Monday Night Raw. And we are sorting out some of Raw's championship matches for our next pay per view, which I believe is Extreme Rules. And about four weeks' time, so it's a miscounted. It, it is Ali, and he will be facing one of the best Intercontinental Champions. We've ever seen a former Intercontinental Champion, but it's obviously Lee Mills. The winner of this match will go on to Extreme Rules to face Buddy Murphy for the Championship. And this is actually no Mills will have a few checks up his sleeve. Here we go. Look at that man straight away here. He knows. And the man's here to San Jesus because he knows how fast Ali can be here. Look at that, start stalking. Ali man's off the ropes with a big knee into the neck. Baker goes for the pin here with an easy kick out for Mustafa. Ali. Oh, Mustafa Ali just hasn't really got going in this one. And look at this, a big boot once again from the awesome one. And there's... Look at this, big knockbreaker saw. Nice. The Miz just took full control of this matchup. Oh, the Miz going for a wall. That might be too close to the ropes. It was all of that racing. Oh, Ali here knows he needs to make something happen. Then here he goes with a fallen jar kick. The Miz steers by it. Oh, Ali does hand his belt on the mountain up for himself in this one. Who misses with the kick and look at this. The Miz with a roll up opportunity here. One, two. Ali gets the Miz into a roll up of his own. Two, three. Ali. Ali steals the factory here. And it was the Miz's own fault. The Miz tried for a roll up on Ali. Look at this. This is the first roll up here. Look at look and Ali. Able to get him into, and look at this. No, and that Ali has just gotten a golden opportunity for the Intercontinental Championship here to kick things off on Monday Night Raw. We'll be with you for the next matchup in just a minute. Back here on Monday Night Raw, and we're going to see who will be facing Becky Lynch. At Extreme Rules for the Women's Championship. And you know what? This is one of the most dangerous women I believe we all have on the roster. And I would love to see her and Becky Lynch go at it. So, this is going to be an interesting match. So, let's see who else is getting the opportunity. And it is the Queen of Hearts of Fatwin here in the WWE Natalia. This is going to be a great matchup. Both of these women have good respect for each other. Here, Ripley, Natalia. Another nice attack, but an easy kick out for Natalia. So there's a drop kick. Ripley trying to get the fans behind him, but maybe she shouldn't have been focused on the WWE in the first. Ripley points here to the midsection. Look at this. Look at this. Just battering the back of Natalia the wall down early on here in this matchup. Nice. 
We have to wonder what we are roughly is thinking here. Going for a suplex. Oh, the knee right to the face, but Natalia. We're able to use the ropes to get up. But look at that, maybe. Natalia should. No, Natalia. And the Ravery holding roughly back from Natalia. Or as Natalia gets back in the ring, Natalia takes a fancy off as low. And look at this, we are roughly in the corner. Natalia turns around here. What is Natalia thinking? Snake guys into the corner. And now uh, look at this, I wasn't leg sweep the snake guys into the wasn't leg sweep going for the pin here. One. And an easy kick out for Rhea Ripley. Oh, misses the drop kick off. Oh, Ripley. Oh, doesn't get off that one house kick. We got enough of it. And look at this from Ripley. What is Ripley thinking? Does a face buster in Natalia? has to use the ropes to get herself back to her feet but look at this it's time Ripley not giving Natalia time to breathe and look at this drags so her right in the middle of the ring what is she thinking here look at look at the strength there's a dead left on surplus that could be at one with Natalia so my she's been able to stay Around the WWE for so long, and we force her into the corner from Natalia. But Ripley, we force her to this time. And look at this. Ripley, so off the confidence he has with a jack kick. And look at this. Natalia could be in big trouble in this one. Look at this. Up. Natalia trying to get out of it here, but we are Ripley able just to hold our strength for the one hand is so flat. Look at this. Look at this. This could be the ending we believe. We are Ripley is calling for the submission. The tie side, and look at that right in the middle of the ring. One, two, three, and we are Ripley is coming for the women's championship here. They so I see two big about five five powerful women's champion if they can indeed go to extreme rules night and beat back again will be with you in just a minute for the next matchup. Up next we will be seeing who the Usos will face at Extreme Rules and we have a new tight team day for today. But obviously it is not these guys, because these guys are the top guys, it is Ruby Fiber. Now see, yes, new tight team consists of... Well, it is the sound of the Boozer Rate Pete Dunn. The Bruiser Ray Pete on. So let's see who has tight him. And you know what? He's picked a goddamn good tight him partner in Norm. Duh. Both of them from the UK. <laughs> this is going to be a physical matchup. Look at this, Pete Dunn does puts Scott Dawson on the one side of the ring, but Scott Dawson obviously with a better experience of tight team wrestling. Look at 
think it has Pete Dunn here does consulting referees three of Henrik in the eyes of Scott Dawson here it puts him in the corner and look at this first bit of tight team up from this tight team just a simple one now and look at this walking on that arm they talked it here no one dog knows exactly what did they hear you have to wonder how it's this tight team will function the team easily one of the greatest tight teams in the world and look at the again look at this Oh, that was something happened to, to Scott Dawson or, and I have no idea what and look at that Scott Dawson gets out of the ring and look at that Dice Wilder couldn't get anything going but he's high, he's Scott Dice it looks like he's going bald a roll up by Pete Dunn here one and an easy kick out from Dice Oh a big boot to the chair saw here Baby Fossil and Look at this, Levy Fivel could get some of the tag team experience in Or maybe not, I don't know what Scott Dawson's doing But no I'm da Takes the tag for his teammate Look at this, guys, in the wrong side of town, I, as, as they would say. Oh, and look at that, the speed of Dice Wilder. The new one, the other for here, but a Glasgow kiss, maybe you could call it. Dice so trying to make a tag to, to Scott Dawson. Look at this, Dice Wilder is in a bad situation. Two. Oh, oh pure time and on oh, no, arm does part, and that could give the revival a fancy. But look at this. Oh, maybe a bit of main games here by Pete Dunn and Norm Da but look again these two must have talked about this shadow let's say and look at this I do think Dice relates the tag one two and the kick out here and look at this Pete Dunn this, this going to take over here and look at this, that's on the back of his neck. And Pete Dunn is not giving Dice Wilder a second. And look at this from Pete Dunn, a draping DDT. And Dice Wilder is in trouble here with no tight team partner. That was a hard fall, but look at this. Pete Dunn, yeah, but Dice Wilder might have just saved his team. Oh, did they, did they? Roll up here by Pete Dunn, with holding the tights with the kick out here by Dice. Oh, look at this going to rock on the legs. And that Pete Dunn could be in trouble here. Don't think he knows where he is, but he did. And look at that's a wall up here. Pete Dunn with the tights once again, but only at one count this time. And look at this. And look at this. Just going to the dice with the jeep and DDT. And nice Scott Dawson here. Moving him away into oh, but Scott here able to play a bit of possum and look at this from Pete Dunn realizing that and Pete Dunn and look at this 
Mbappe done to Scott Dawson. The for base though, and going for the pin here. One, two, and a kick out by Scott Dawson. And look at this, Pete Dunn. Cannot believe he kicked out of it. And look at this. Look at this, Pete Dunn realizes he is in a great area to get this match finished. And look at this, the burst of it finished so far. Going for the pen up one, two, three, and the new tag team of Pete Dunn and Noam Dar get a tag team opportunity at Extreme Rules. And look at this, Scott Dawson. Not happy, Dice Wilder. Dice Wilder coming in. To looks, looks like a bit of confrontation here. Not happy that they lost that matchup. And Dice, Dice Wilder has just walked away from Scott Dawson. And look at Scott saying to him, come on, it was only one match. You have to wonder what is going through the mind of the Reviver will be ready for the main event in just a minute. It is time for the main event and we got a tweet from the general manager of Monday Night War, Chubby Hit saying this was the World Heavyweight Champions idea. We're going to have some more Joe and Bobby Lashley go against each other this week. And uh, I believe, obviously, Adam Cole, the World Heavyweight Champion, he's obviously doing this so both of his men would be tired and broken for extreme rules. Because you, you know these two will beat the living hell out of each other here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The Destroyer, Bobby Lashley. Oh, the them two does hit each other with like thousands of clotheslines, and the buff still standing. And look at this. He gets him over, and he realizes how much strength that took Bobby Lashley. But look at that's a snap suplex here, going for the pin it off it, and gets a one count. And some more Joe here. And Bobby Lashley knows he'll have to use. The slight speed the fantasy has on Samoa Joe. But he's trying to. And look at this. And look at this. Right there in front of him. And look. Samoa Joe's just going to go. You may have the muscles. But I have the in-ring Italians. But they took too long. Going for whatever he was looking for. And look at that. Bobby Lashley does take that kick off. And look at this. Bobby Lashley uses the whoops. And look at that one handed. On the way down. And Bobby Lashley obviously. Starting to feel the momentum. Oh, catched into a belly to the belly. <coughs> Excuse me. here has some more Joe in the corner and look at this this is not a good start here some more Joe has got a bit of momentum in his mask but he didn't get too much built oh he has kept dodging so belly to belly runs again from the Samoan and look at this just going down the mid section here going for the pin off at one 
An easy kick out for the destroyer, Bobby Lastly, Samojo picks him up though. Back and forth. And look at this. Bobby Lashley has some more to up. One handed again. And look at this. Lashley realizes. Uh, Lashley realizes he could have his match done and dusted with. And look at that, the spear in the middle of the ring. One, two. And look at that, some more. Joe gets the shoulder up. And you have to know Adam Cole is love and saying at least Bobby Lashley destroys some more Joe because it means there's one weak link in that matchup. And you know Adam Cole will take Tyson going after him. And look at this. I have to wonder. That Bobby Lashley's thinking. Put some more Joe back in the ring. Get back in the ring, does. Referee and the fatal light knocked down here. Oh, what's this? Joe. Oh, European uppercut to the back of the head, and Bobby Lashley rolls out of the ring, but he's still standing. But of course, some maybe played or able to get some old Joe into a body slam on the outside, but some old Joe puts Bobby Lashley back in the ring. And look at this, some old Joe realizes this is not a usual match. One, and a kick out does after one, Bobby Lashley. Here getting back to his feet, that's the mojo beats him off. And that's the mojo puts Bobby in to the corner. And this could be bad. Look at this, the mojo going for the muscle buster. And that could be it for Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley could be out of this match. Going for the pin. One, two, a kick out. A kick out at two. These guys have destroyed each other. And look at that. Some old Joe we knew to roll out. And look at this. A ballet, the ballet to get some old Joe. And look, Bobby Lashley trying to show off his strength. Look at this, Bobby Lashley realizes one spear, the last one got them a two count, that's one could get him the three, a spear for the second time to Samoto, two, three, and Bobby Lashley with an other impressive victory here tonight. And look at this, Lashley realizes how hard that was back and forth for a bit, this was the first spear. And the muscle buster. No, I might have might have been a snap suplex. So it was the muscle buster. And look at this. He, I believe he might have been able to get the pin now, but he wanted the spear. Look at this. But look at this. It is the world heavyweight champion. And look at this, Adam Cole. Adam Cole here. And look at this. Maybe it wasn't a great idea for Adam Cole to attack Bobby Lashley. Adam Cole came out to try to attack Bobby Lashley here. And look at this. And Bobby Lashley here. Looking straight at Samojo. Samojo is on the ramp. Look at this. There's tons of ramp back on him. The one handed suplex to the world. Heavyweight champion, and this could this be what we could see at Extreme Rules? Bobby Lashley, the first spear to the world heavyweight champion. 
Bobby and Lashley just showed everyone why he could be come the world heavyweight champion everyone will be with you as soon as we can for smackdown next week good thank you for joining me.